Hi, it's Chris with Implied Music, and today we've got Spitfire's Originals Epic Choir. It's part of their signature series, so it's a very affordable and remarkably powerful Epic Choir library. Let's take a look at it. This may be the fourth or fifth of Spitfire's signature series that I've had an opportunity to review. They've sent it to me, I should tell you that, but of course they have nothing to say about my opinions about it. But I will say this about the signature series. I think they're in a groove. They've got a, a nice, solid, very consistent build, a player that's easy to work with, and they're pumping out fairly modest sized libraries. I think this one is like uh, 1.3 or 1.4 gigs of material um, that are very reasonably priced at $29 or 29 euros and um, super playable and useful. As it happens, I was able to use it in a project that I'm working on right now. But first, let's take a look at the interface and the basic patches that are part of the system. Now, if you're familiar with uh, Spitfire's player, this is going to be just a jump right into the pool type of situation. It's got the famous big knob. It's got expression and dynamic sliders that are available to us uh, on... I'm just amusing CCs here. I think one is going to be um, modulation and the other is going to be expression. And, of course... You know, that's going to be just a giant help in doing vocal sounds. I've called up the Sopranos and Altos Long Ah. Listen to this. It's just really quite lovely. We have basically two sets of singers. There's the sopranos and altos, and then uh, in the bottom part, the tenors and basses. And of course, that's standard four-part division of a uh, job. Let's listen to the men doing the same thing. That's tenors right at the top of their range. Let's hear the basses. There are a number of other patches. Let's take a look at what's available. In the long patch world, we have also a hmm, a humming sound. Let's check that out. And actually, super useful. You can hear it's quiet, very delicate. The gal's hmm is also really quite lovely. Let's check it out. What's the big knob set to? Reverb. Um, the big knob, of course, controls any number of parameters. And the reverb's quite nice. Good tail, appropriate hall size. Now, where this really shines is, is some of these expressive, long, uh, slightly shaped vowels. So they call them episodic combos. So check out the gal's episodic combo one. holding it down.
You can hear there's a little diphthong going on there. The vowel sound is changing, the volume swells and recedes. So you have something that's quite lively and is great for padding. There's two episodic combos. Let's hear the second one. Same type of thing. It's quieter, more restrained. And of course, the same thing is true of the men. We're going to listen to a piece that I did. And um, <laughs> I took advantage of a patch here that is super interesting and fun. Short staccato syllables. And then we also have key switch versions of it. But check this out. So as I play a note, I hear a short staccato syllable and repeated iterations of that same note. will get me different syllables. Super interesting, right? Nice, right? Of course, the guys have the same thing. Now, if we wanted to, we could key switch those syllables. There's a patch here, which allows me. To key switch the syllables. Well, I'm working on this piece that takes place in like medieval Scotland right now. I thought, ooh, epic choir. Let's take a look at it. This ought to give you a chance to hear how something like this might work in context. I've leaned heavily on the Epic Choir because I knew I was going to be using this for this demo. But the things I've added are some drums down below, including Spitfire's Resonate, uh, a, a Shea, which is a lovely and a kind of an amazing drum library that I've spoken about before, some Celtic vocal phrases across the top. Now, here are our tracks. We have those episodic longs in the basses and in the sopranos. And we're also using the humming sound in the sopranos, altos, and uh, tenor basses. And then uh, getting into uh, the later part of the piece, that chanting section. So listen to how this works. We can just like let it run. It's convincing and compelling, and I think it delivers on its promise. It is an epic choir. It's that sort of thing that we've come to expect from uh, Spitfire, kind of a cinematic approach to a specific niche issue. And that's the signature library. Um, I guess you could probably say it's their mission, right? Well, at $29 or euros and a reasonably small download, um, if you haven't got something huge like the Eric Whitaker choir or some of the other epic choirs that allow you to type in syllables and, you know, do actual word building. And I have used those and I have a couple that I, 
I just find them too much trouble. They're a little more trouble than they're worth. This library gets me, I want to say, 60, 70 percent of the way towards something really terrific. Maybe add a live vocalist over the top to anchor the sounds of the syllables. Maybe add some phrases as I did with this track here. Well, I hope this uh, epic choir little dive has been useful. And like and subscribe. Ding the bell, you'll be notified when I do my videos. You know, the usual YouTube thing. And uh, I'll see you next time. Thank mm -hmm. you.